tax-free cash. Sounds good, right? Definitely sounds like something you should grab with both hands. Well, maybe not. Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Pete Matthew and I'm a Chartered Financial Planner based here in the UK. Now too many people get to retirement and then when they're choosing their pension options, they just decide to take all the tax-free cash out just because they can. Well, here's five reasons why that might not be a good idea. Well, the obvious first reason not to take tax-free cash has got to be that you already have enough money outside of pensions. And I see this all the time. So a client might have, you know, two, three, four, five hundred thousand in a pension fund, and then maybe similar amounts in bank deposits, premium bonds, ISAs, GIAs, and they just press the button to draw their tax-free cash out and take it from their pension into all those other pots. And this is a very unintentional thing to do. Regular viewers will know that being intentional about money is one of my favorite topics. Now, this is the opposite of that because it isn't thought through necessarily. Not all accounts are created equal in terms of things like taxation and estate planning and other benefits. Remember, money is only good for three things, spending, investing so that you can spend it in the future, and giving away. Money is not good for just sitting on. Now, financial planning helps you to put your money to the best use by establishing what you're gonna be spending and when, so that then you can position all the pieces optimally. If you have enough outside of pensions, and good planning can help you establish what enough actually means for you, well, if you have enough outside of pensions, it makes no sense to add more from your pension tax-free cash. Would you agree? Here's reason number two not to take your tax-free cash. You've got an inheritance tax problem. You see, pensions are an incredibly flexible vehicle when it comes to estate planning. Any money which is held in a DC pension fund is usually not counted as part of your estate. And this means that a pension fund could be paid out to your beneficiaries very quickly without having to wait for probate. And also, it's not subject to inheritance tax. So if your estate is large enough so that inheritance tax is going to be an issue for you, it doesn't really make sense to make that problem worse by taking your tax-free cash out of your pension and into your estate. You're just gonna pay 40% inheritance tax on that money someday, unless of course you blow it all on beer, fags, and football shirts. Better, potentially, to leave the cash in the pension to be passed tax efficiently to your beneficiaries one day. Now I did a video, which I'll link to up here and in the description, all about how pensions are dealt with when you die. I'm gonna also return to it in just a minute or so. Reason number three not to take your tax-free cash, you need more income. Pensions, remember, are designed primarily to provide an income in retirement. That's what they're for. Things like the estate planning benefits we just talked about are kind of added extra benefits on top of the main purpose of providing an income. It goes without saying then that you're likely to be able to produce a larger income from your pension fund if you don't take out the tax-free cash right at the start. If you do, obviously, you reduce your DC pension pot by a quarter. So the remaining 75% then has to do all the work. If you're in a DB pension scheme and you choose not to take your tax-free cash, well, your income will automatically be higher. So that's definitely worth considering. That income, of course, will be guaranteed for life, may even provide spouses benefits if that's applicable to you, and will almost certainly be index linked, which is really valuable over a hopefully very long retirement period. Now, if this is helpful so far, you know what to do. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've actually just passed 50,000 subscribers here on Meaningful Money. Will you join us? Okay, reason number four, not to take tax-free cash from your pension. You wanna leave some more money to your beneficiaries. So we talked about not making your inheritance tax situation worse just now, but the flip side to that is making more of your money for your beneficiaries. If you die before age 75 with a DC pension fund, that pot goes to your beneficiaries completely tax-free as long as you don't breach the pension lifetime allowance. Now this can be in the form of a lump sum or even better as a tax-free dependence drawdown, which can provide a tax-free pension income for life 
even if the beneficiary is not of pension age. Even if you die after age 75, the pot can still pass as a dependent's drawdown. Anything they subsequently draw from the pension will be taxed at their income tax rates. But there is no tax payable on transfer from you, the deceased, to them. Again, that's subject to the lifetime allowance. They have all the pension's flexibility at their disposal to draw flexibly in the future. And finally, reason number five not to take tax-free cash, maybe you would benefit from some of your income being tax-free. Now, I did a video on DC pension crystallization options recently. It's a lot more interesting than it sounds. And I did some examples, so I'll link to that up here and in the description. If you take all your tax-free cash in one go, anything you draw after that is taxable. But if you choose to exercise maybe the off plus option regularly, then a chunk of everything you take out of your pension could be tax free. Now that might be really beneficial if you have other income sources like rental income or even your state pension. Being able to use the tax free cash on the drip as part of your income leads to a lower rate of income tax overall. And of course, if your uncrystallized pension fund, the bit that you haven't drawn anything from yet, if that continues to grow, well, you're adding more tax-free cash for as long as you defer taking it. Okay, some clear reasons there why you should consider not taking your pension tax-free cash. But as you can imagine, there are some clear reasons and circumstances why you definitely should do so. So tell me, do you want me to make that video? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please do hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see you in the next video.